Hey, pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Jabork, and this is going to be the next edition of the Ghostly Tate as we preview the Lehigh Valley Phantoms against the Hershey Bears. As our Phantoms are going on to taking the Bears with a seven game point streak and a three game winning streak, having beat the Bears the last time out against them two to one at home to start that three game winning streak after the overtime loss to the Rochester Americans, a very tough, hard fought OT loss that the Lehigh Valley Phantoms had. To the Rochester Americans, they just coming off of a very good win um, to the Bridgeport Islanders in Garrett Malkoff's um, debut. Now we <coughs> have Felix Sandstrom, excuse me, and uh, Karo Ustamenko back down on loan from the Philadelphia Flyers with the Lehigh Valley Phantoms before they play the Pittsburgh Penguins. As long as that game still stays on track since TK and Travis Sanheim have been added to the COVID protocol list for the Flyers today. So we'll have to see where that goes um, going forward. But Garrett Melkaev had a great debut. You would have to think Felix Sandstrom, the numero uno, would be in net being he's on loan down there today. Uh, the the um, Hershey Bears, as I said, are one of the best teams in the league. Uh, well, not in the league, in our division, I should say, at 15-9, and one uh, the Phantoms being 9-11-4-2. But the Phantoms are edging closer and closer to 500 because of their hot play and the recent success. They've looked at the whole change team, a whole new team. I think it's also because Lappy, rather than just being the player development whiz, putting guys in the right spot that are the young gun to succeed, is now learning how to strategically coach better and better over time, and that's showing on the ice, and I think that's going to continue to show going forward. I would say this team has a good chance to have a big second half and be over 500 by the end of the season. Now, will that put them in the Calder Cup playoffs? We'll have to see because that would depend how many games, right, they're able to then get over that 500 mark as time goes on. But I have high hopes for this team going forward in the second half because they're still very short-handed, and they're doing this good right now. Still very short-handed. Uh, Fitzgerald has started skating on the edge. lazinski has been skating on the edge, but they're very short-handed. Allison hasn't even played that much. Uh, Millman, who was one of the better defensemen last year, hasn't played really. So, like, uh, this team's still really short-handed, uh, has had guys going up now with the new taxi squad, but going up in general has had Frost, Wilman not playing for a while because they're up with the Flyers going up. That was pre-taxi squad. So, obviously, they're going through a lot, but they've been great of lately, and it's because of the players uh, doing a lot better, um, the leaders doing a lot better, the veteran leaders doing a lot better combined with the young guys, and guys stepping up. Isaac Ratcliffe has looked like a whiz of late. It's guys stepping up as other guys are now up because big guys are are getting big, or other guys are getting big opportunities uh, now. Obviously, one of the big guys that does well is Isaac Ratcliffe. Uh, Hayden Hodgson doing really well, obviously, given more opportunities over time. You want to see more of Brendan Saunier, like Lappy said, but I think he's still a player I really like. Garrett Wilson does obviously tremendous. He's the points leader um, right now with the team with everybody up. So you want to continue to see that. And then Adam Glendening's been very good off of the back end. As a veteran, Cal O'Reilly continues to do his thing. And Felix Sandstrom's a great number one. Melkaff had a great debut. So you're continuing to see good things from this team recently. So as long as you can continue to perform like these last seven, that's going to spell great success going forward. Now it's just going to see how you're not going to continue to perform at this high of a high so it's going to be interesting to see how they win the fans bounce out. They do going forward. But going into tonight against Hershey, is continue to play a better possession game. The Phantoms in this last seven, uh, for the, compared to the rest of the season, have been playing a much better puck possession game. They've been playing much better in terms of just quickly anticipating and making plays uh, rather than kind of being behind the play and being one second behind, two seconds behind type of deal. And they've been <clears throat> also the biggest key is protecting their net front better and helping out their goaltenders where it hasn't been in a lot of these games all on the netminder. Some of these games have been the netminder has stepped up big time to get them the Ws or to get them the point um, in this seven-game um, point streak here. But it's really been just much better consolidated play as a whole from offense to defense, defense pushing the offense, getting the puck off um, in the defensive zone and then entering the neutral zone and then getting into the attacking zone with a good push. That has been a lot better recently. As long as that stays true, I think the Phantoms have a very good chance against the Hershey Bears tonight, particularly since Felix Sandstrom is back down. That really helps, even though Mel Kf had a hell of a debut. Having your true number one down obviously really helps. So peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Let's go, Phantoms. Let's beat those Hershey Bears tonight. This has been a preview to the Hershey Bears and Lehigh Valley Phantoms, and also just a New Year look into the Lehigh Valley Phantoms team and how I think we're going to look going forward. Peace out, everybody.